Uh, what a fantastic story this is. Just one year ago, a Utah woman who was dying from COVID-19 gave birth to her son while she was in a coma. Today, as Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold shows us, that woman and her son reunited with the healthcare workers responsible for saving their lives in a story that is positively Utah. just been growing. Mackenzie McComb's son Coleman turning one year old on Tuesday. He's big now, <laughs> 21 pounds. A not so typical birthday celebration for this baby boy, his mother and their family, considering what they dealt with this time last year. I got COVID in the beginning of November. I tested positive and soon after that I was just in my bed, couldn't move. Um, just slept, didn't even eat or anything. Pregnant at the time with Coleman, McComb says things just got worse. He ended up calling the ambulance um, November 19th to come get me because my oxygen had dropped to 77. And um, I ended up being transferred up here to St. Mark's. And then three days later, um, I was being put on life support. She couldn't breathe. The COVID had wrapped her lungs tight and she was dying. Brad Mortimer is the director of perfusion services for life support and cardiac services at St. Mark's Hospital. She would have been dead in an hour. He says they worked fast to help deliver McCombs' baby at just 28 weeks, all while she was in a coma. By the time we were able to birth her child and get her on life support was all of about five minutes. McCombs says she woke up a week later. It took a few days for me to even know what was going on. And even then, um, I didn't know that Coleman had been delivered. My trach's still open, so I have to hold it. After 16 days, she was released from the hospital. However, at just two pounds, six ounces, Coleman would spend 76 days in the NICU before getting to come home in February. <laughs> on Tuesday, both were back at St. Mark's, meeting the people who were by their side through it all. <laughs> With hugs and plenty of tears. Being able to make a difference in someone's life and having them in turn make a difference in yours, what better reward is that? After what McCombs called the hardest year, she says she was happy to spend the day celebrating her baby boy and getting to thank the people who made it all possible. I'm excited to watch Coleman grow and he's perfectly healthy and that's all I can ask for. Well, McCombs tells me that Thanksgiving this week will also be extra special. Unlike last year when she was in a coma and her husband was eating at the cafeteria inside of St. Mark's, she says it'll be amazing to spend the holiday this year with her entire family. In Mill Creek, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.